What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This time we're going to be looking at the new Star Wars Black Series Emphasis Nest Sweep Bike uh, from Solo or Star Wars Story. This one just came to me today in the mail. I got it sent from an eBay seller from in Taiwan. Um, I wasn't expecting it this quick to be honest. Um, it only took sort of just over a week and a, like maybe eight or nine days. I wasn't expecting it till maybe next month or the end of July. Um, so... Yeah, they tend to give you a, a really long extended date um, to expect it, but that's okay. It's it's coming today, and I'm I'm really excited. So we'll we'll just have a quick look at the box. It's number five. We've seen a few of these sort of figure and vehicle boxes now. Um, this will be in the fifth. <laughs> um, so we'll have a we'll have a, just a quick look here. Uh, the bio reads and. Emphasis Nest, an extremely dangerous marauder. Emphasis Nest is brutally carving out a nefarious reputation for herself and her gang of swoop riding pirates, the Cloud Riders. And you just get a few, a few pictures of the features on the back. Cool picture of Emphasis on the side there. I really, really liked her character in Solo. I thought she was really cool. Um, such a good character design, looked fantastic. Um, and it was just a, a good spin um, to have someone appear as a villain and then turn out them that they're not really a villain at all. All right, <laughs> enough dribble. We're going to look at the uh, the actual thing. So here it is on its stand. Now this thing is is crazy long. Um, I was not expecting it to be this long, um, and it's going to stick out on my shelf because I've got a shelf cleared out for it because I knew she was coming um, but I wasn't expecting it to be this big this is it's it comes in the box all right so if you've got your box that's going it's nose to tip I'm back to it's that much longer than the box um, yeah there's some, obviously some assembly required um, this part here, this whole front, the fins at the front here, move the camera back, the whole fins at the front and this extended thing here, that's all um, come separately. And then you get these added little bits here, the struts that go to the handlebars up here, they were um, a thing you had to add on, as well as this front top wing, wing tip here at the front of the uh, speeder. So this is a little bit of assembly required, um, but it looks great. It really does. Um, I'll get Emphis off shortly, but uh, we'll just have a quick look through. Um, I feel like there's definitely a bit of work, um, a little bit left to be desired in terms of paint detail. What they have given us is pretty good. Um, so you can see like these markings, you've got a bit of that sort of silver touches throughout the vehicle, sort of weathering and scoring and stuff like that. But um, yeah, there's a lot to be asked for in terms of extra detail. We've got bits and pieces like this. Sort of canister there. So the details are all there. Like They look great. But um, yeah, I just I feel that there's a little bit to be desired in terms of extra, extra paint detail, I think. Would uh, just tip this over the edge and be fantastic. So I may have to do a little bit myself. I probably won't because I'm slack. <laughs> um, but this is pretty cool. There's the engines on the back. Now I think this is the same stand. I think no, it's a little bit different. Um, they've sort of gone with this sort of cloud effect on the stand. So I think that looks pretty good. I like I like what they've done for these these vehicles doesn't allow a lot of sort of up and down movement just there's a bit of restraint doing the ball and socket is sort of underneath embedded in the engine as opposed to sort of but that's okay you don't want this thing tipping over or anything but it looks good there's lots of little engine components throughout here I was really excited to find out that swoop bikes were going to be coming to a coming into a movie I thought that was just really cool um, we got a lot of swoop bikes and swoop bike races in Shadows of the Empire back in the 90s. That was cool. But uh, yeah, lots of little details. Though. Just a little bit of extra paintwork going into them would be cool, but that's okay. 
So it's a pretty solid vehicle. It's light. Um, so not a great deal of weight to it, but it doesn't need to be. That's fine. It's sturdy. Sits well. Enfa sits on it really nicely. So she's got really good articulation and movement to be able to get on this thing and hold the handlebars up. And uh, there's actually some foot marks here, so you, if they do any of the other Cloud Rider figures, you can have them standing on the back there, which is cool. Um, we saw a few riding these um, in the film. They sort of just jump off. So I think that's pretty exciting if we get a couple more of the Cloud Riders. Um, I imagine we'll get Weasel. He was pretty, pretty important out of the lot. But uh, yeah, characters like Two Tubes I think would be cool. But that's the swoop bike, so I'm just going to take Enfys off. And uh, yeah, also here's our weapon. Which again, just lacks, lacks some detail. I feel like it's a pretty important part. Um, not necessarily to the film, but you know, it's... Does a, does a bit of stuff. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. Um, but yeah, it's just a pretty boring boring bit of plastic. But it looks cool. It's nicely nicely detailed. And yeah, just a little bit of extra paintwork going into this would have would have just tipped it over the edge a little bit. But there are a couple of spots to hold this weapon on the speeder. I'm not sure if you saw before. But uh, yeah, it just locks in that groove there nicely. And there's one on the other side too. So let's have a look. Shuffle forward a little bit. Zoom up a little bit too. Yeah, just had to adjust my light a little bit. So I got some serious Jon Snow jacket going on here, which is good. It looks great. Um, I'm going to do some... I think I'm going to just... Um, do a little bit to this, um, what, which I've done with uh, the old vintage collection Gamorrean Guards from a few years back. Um, I doused a little bit, I just put a little bit of hairspray in it and just, just matted it down a little bit to help it stuck a little bit better, um, just so it's not sitting up so buffy. Um, but it's good, I like that they've used this, I'm glad they haven't gone down the fully sculpted route. Um, it looks good. It makes the character appear bigger than she actually is, because you take that away, she's quite a slender form. But this helmet is on though, let's let's have a look at that. Cause that is fantastic, it looks so cool. Sort of blades sticking out the back, they look great. Oh, I hope we do get to see more of her story. Um, she's definitely interesting. So we got her arm gauntlets there which if you remember they sort of split open into like a fan um, and a little bit of a shield um, it would have been cool to see like a swap out sort of accessory on this but they look cool like that I like it no doubt we'll see one like that eventually sort of the chest plate with all these sort of bones sort of wrapped around Looks good. It's got this soft leather, soft plastic, sort of tabards around the tabards. I guess that's what they're called on the waist. There, they look good. Down the pants. And these extra little gadgets on the side there. I'm not exactly sure what they are. Probably should have looked through the uh, visual guide a bit first. They might have they might have held the answers. So if you've got the visual guide, go and have a look. <laughs> I'm going to after this. <laughs> good time for it. But yeah, good looking figure. Really good looking figure, good looking character. Ooh. But yeah, then there's this sort of fabric cape, which is almost a, 
It's a quite thick felty almost fabric, but it's really, really strong. It's got a bit of flex to it and it's double sided. So if they can do something like this on our capes in the future, that would be that would be far better than what they'd give us sometimes. Um, I'd like to see a Bespin Lando with that sort of thing. Uh, blue on the outside, black on the inside, or whatever it is, gold on the inside. That would be cool. But, uh, yeah, she holds the weapon reasonably well. Well, does hold it very well. Hair sculpted at the back. I, did, I think I forgot to mention that before when I was looking at the back. I was more invested in the helmet. But that's also nice because it helps helps squash this um, fur down a bit. Articulation. She has a ball jointed head. Which again, that hair on the back does allow a little, does restrict the movement a little bit. Born in the shoulders and elbows. You get some good, good, good angles there. Ball wings at the wrists. Um, good joint at the torso. Allows a lot of movement. Hips uh, are ball, ball hinged. Swivels at the upper thighs. Double jointed knees and really good movement in the ankles. Um, it's a ball hinge as well. And there's the foot to go up to sit on those pedals on the uh, on the bike on the swoop bike. So there is Enfys Nest and her swoop bike. Um, yeah, really excited to have this one on display and hopefully get outside and take some, take a few shots of this one. Um, I'll be sure to put them on Instagram. So if you want to follow me there, it's at the Forces with Jesse. You can also find me on Facebook under the same uh, same title there. So check that out. Not as active on Facebook as I probably could be. Every now and then I remember. <laughs> But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of the comments below. And until the next video, may the force be with you.